The Israel-Hamas war has presented a serious challenge for colleges. We've seen it all across the country. Now USC is not allowing its valedictorian, who's publicly supported Palestinians, to give a speech at next month's commencement citing security concerns. It is a decision that has been praised by several pro-Israel groups, but criticized by the country's largest Muslim civil rights organization. The student at the center of this controversy joins us now, Asna Tabassum. Asna, uh, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. I want to start with this statement that the college provost said in part that the intensity of the feelings around allowing you to speak, quote, escalated to the point of creating substantial risk relating to security and uh, disruption at the commencement, pointing out harassment and violence seen on other campuses. But, you know, I know you had a meeting with them. I'm wondering, did they tell you anything specific, a specific threat that was made against you? Or have you had any specific threats made against you? Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I will have to say, no, nothing specific was, you know, offered to me. No specific details regarding security threats or safety concerns were offered to me. So a lot of people, and you kind of, you know, uh, talk, talk about this a little bit, but a lot of people, cri the criticism of you, your classmates, some of them feel like that this goes back to a link. You know, you've talked about this. It's posted on social media to a, a, a site there. Uh, Another person created this, we should point out. You did not create it. You posted it to a site. Some believe it contains anti-Semitic views, uh, really some vile anti-Semitic views, including calling for the abolishment of the state of Israel. So do you think that's part of it? And do you believe the state of Israel should be abolished? So the when it comes to abolishing the state of Israel, I do want to point out the rest of the link. And so the very next sentence talks about the peaceful coexistence of Arabs and Jews. And I think it points to what I've been saying since the beginning of this issue, which is that I'm committed to human equality and to human rights. And so this link, I I encourage people to look at it in its entirety rather than looking at one specific example. For example, you know, it's discussing both the one state and the two state solution. It's discussing the history of the region. And I think that there's important information to, for people to understand on their own and come to their own conclusions about. When it comes to abolishing the state of Israel, I will say I want to abolish apartheid. If there is one state and two state in there, you, you could see a two state solution. I, I think the abolishment of Israel is what bothered a lot of people, but you would advocate for a two state solution so Israel would still exist and then there would be a Palestinian state. Is that what I'm hearing? So no, I'm not necessarily committing to a one state or a two state solution. I'm simply saying that this information on the website offered information from multiple perspectives. And so my endorsing of any one single perspective is unfounded. Okay, so USC has said this is not meant to infringe upon your free speech. Do you feel like it's doing just that? So in its most technical terms, um, the ability to give a speech at commencement is a privilege, right? It's, it's not necessarily free speech. But what I will say that, you know, I expressed my views and I expressed my views online and the hatred that was leveled at me because of myself expressing these views, um, you know, I think ultimately was part of the reason why USC caved in. And so whether free speech in its most technical terms is being debated here is maybe up for debate. But I will say speech is an issue and speech is being stifled. What were you going to speak about? I mean, there's just a lot of talk about what you posted, that link, and what your beliefs may be. Were you going to talk about that at graduation or were you going to give a different kind of speech? So the valedictorian honor is ultimately a unifying honor, right? It's emblematic of USC's unifying values. And I think I take that to heart, you know? Um, I, I wanted my speech to be in the genre of a valedictory speech. And so that being said, I wanted to impart a message of hope. I also wanted to impart a message of responsibility, right? We are given a wonderful set of higher education. We have been given the knowledge of learning how to learn. And so I wanted to encourage my peers to, you know, learn about the world and come to their own conclusions and then act to change the world in the ways that they see fit. And so ultimately taking in my role as valedictorian, I wanted to be a unifying voice for all students. And that was preemptively taken away from me. All right, Asna, thanks so much. Uh, we really do appreciate you taking the time. Of course. Thank you so much.